Uh, my name is Catherine Vandergrift. I'm at the Aiken First Presbyterian Church. And the beginning of this ministry is a fairly long story. Do you want me to begin at the beginning? <laughs> Uh, in 2008, a group of us from this Aiken First Christian Church went to Mwandi in Zambia on the shores of the Zambezi River where we have a, an interest in a mission station and a hospital. And while the men were doing repair work, the ladies were working with the children and seeing things that were going on there. And at the hospital, we found in this area, which is of course sub-Sahara Africa, where there's so much AIDS, we found that they had babies who were born HIV negative, whose mothers were HIV positive. Meaning, of course, that the babies have to be fed formula. And formula is very expensive. When we returned home, we had this on our minds about how we could find money to help feed these babies. And we started off first with making some tote bags out of some African material, and that went very well. And then one day, along in March, three years ago now, uh, my sister-in-law in Birmingham called me about some things that she was doing, making some necklaces. And she explained to me how to do it and told me about it, and I made up some. And they immediately sold here in the church, and I took them other places, and. We just had a flock of people here in our church who were willing to join in with us and help us out. And and uh, the people who'd been to Mwandi are all involved with making necklaces. And, and one of the gentlemen took over our uh, the job of herding all these cats that he was doing with making necklaces and has set us up with quite a, an elaborate uh, inventory. And uh, he tells us he gets on the internet and finds our yarn for us, and, and we have been working now for three years in a project that we thought would last maybe six weeks. This is a mission that involves the whole congregation more and more as we go on with it, because our ladies wear their necklaces in church and, and outside in, in Aiken, and when people go on vacations or trips, they take them with them and sell them to their to their relatives and their friends and they bring people in and the whole congregation has just joined in beautifully to help us. We have about 30 ladies and a couple of gentlemen that work on the necklace project itself, but the congregation as a whole has been very helpful. It's just a congregational response that we've had and, and uh, we have the, the, the fact that people have friends other places. Uh, throughout the states. Uh, we now have orders that come in all the way to California, Texas, and way up north, and, and relatives of uh, people who are making necklaces sell them for us too. So it's just been a whole congregational effort that has worked out beautifully for all of us and for our babies because at this point we have now raised $118,000 just five and seven dollars at the time, which is absolutely amazing. Eighty percent of what we take in goes to buy formula for these babies at Mondi. And this mission started up in North Carolina and the Aiken Church became a part of it. It's the fact that we're feeding babies that makes the necklaces appeal to people, I think, because they're really doing a help, helping in a way where the money goes where it's supposed to go. We don't know where the Lord's leading. We thought it would be a very short-lived ministry, uh, and yet we've gone on for three years, and we are we still have more business opportunities, it looks like, on into the spring and summer. Uh, we'll go this way as long as, as long as the demand for our necklaces lasts, and then we'll We'll see what we can find next, that, because these babies are not going away. <laughs> in, in looking toward the future, uh, we know our, the situation with the babies will, will be with us into the future, and uh, we also know that a project like this necklace project will not last forever. So we would like for churches in the Trinity Presbytery to join with us and either make necklaces and, 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 and sell them with us, or 
on uh, come up, have an idea for another kind of ministry that would provide formula for these babies. Uh, we would love to have them join with us.